Hello guys, today we're going to look at how to program the remember me functionality for our login system. So basically, when the user click on this checkbox, we want to be able to sign the user in the next time without showing the login form. And uh, in order for us to do this, we need a mechanism to be able to store information in the computer of the user so that whenever the user makes an HTTP request, we are able to retrieve this information and uh, check to actually see if the information is valid. So let's get into the code and see how we can actually implement this. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to our login form. So in our login form, we are going to make some changes to this checkbox. First of all, we are going to give it a value and uh, we're going to set the value to yes. Okay, next I have created three functions and uh, in our utilities.php file, I'm going to quickly walk you through the function uh, step by step. So let's look at the function from the very top. The remember me function accepts one argument and this is going to be the ID of the user that has already checked the remember me uh, checkbox. So we are going to collect the ID of the user and then we are going to encrypt it using base64 encode, uh, which is just a PHP function that enables us to encode data with mine base64. So basically, this is just to ensure that the, the user ID here is being protected. The base64 encode function will basically allow us to secure the ID of the user and ensure that this information is uh, protected. And as you can see here, I have added some string and uh, this can actually be anything of your choice. Uh, you can add any string of your choice. The most important thing is when we are going to decode this function, you need to have the same string that you use uh, while you were encoding it. This is a secure way to encode the user ID because except you disclose this information to someone, no one is going to know which string you have used to encode your data. So next, we are going to call the uh, set cookie function uh, that PHP has created for us. We are going to give it a name and uh, this I have called it remember user cookie. And I have uh, actually included the data that we have encoded here as the next argument. I'm setting this cookie to expire after 30 days. So that's all this function does. The function accepts the ID of the user. Then we use the base64 encode function to encode the ID uh, to scramble it with this test that I have uh, provided here. And next we just set the cookie using the PHP set cookie function and passing in the appropriate parameter, the cookie name, the uh, actual data that we are setting to the cookie name, and then the time that we want this cookie to last and uh, specify my base directory here as slash. So next we're going to look at the is cookie valid function. This we accept one parameter and this is going to be a database connection. The first thing I'm doing here is creating a variable is valid and setting the value to false. So next I'm going to check to see if the cookie remember user cookie is set. So I'll be checking the PHP super global cookies to see if the cookie that was created here, remember user cookie is set. So if this cookie is set, which means this user has previously checked the boss to remember me and we have created a cookie for this user. Uh, that also means that we will be able to retrieve the information stored in this remember user cookie and get the user's ID. So next we're going to use the opposite of the base64 encode function, which is the base64 decode provided for us by PHP. So I'm going to use this function to actually decode the value that is stored in this cookie, remember user cookie. So we're going to decode it and store it in this variable, decrypt cookie data. And next we are going to use the PHP explode function to actually break this decrypted cookie data into an array. So we're going to convert this into an array uh, using the string that we added here as a delimiter. So basically we use this string as a delimiter to uh, break this into break this into an array. 
and then we're going to assess the first position and guess you the first position is going to be the id of the user because if you remember from here we just have this string and the idea of the user so if we break this into an array this is going to be position zero and this is going to be position one so if we assess position one we are going to get the id that was uh, used to create a cookie so after extracting the id of the user the next thing we want to do is actually check if this id corresponds to what we have in the database so then we create our query to select information from the users table and we are going to get the record that matches the id that we are checking so we prepare the statement here and next we just execute it with the id that we collected here so if we are able to get information from the statement which means a record actually exists so if a record exists we grab the id from the database we grab the username from the database and next we are just going to create section variables so we create a section id and uh, assign the id of the user and then we create a another section for the username and we assign the username of the user otherwise if we were not able to get any information from this statement which means the id has been tampered with we are just going to set this variable is valid equals to false and we are going to call the sign that function and uh, finally we are going to return this variable is valid just to see if we get a true or a false and uh, lastly is the sign out function basically sign out function is very this is very straightforward we are just unsetting the value of the section variables that we've created for the username id and also the uh, cookie and we are actually destroying the time that we've set the cookie to leave and next we call the section destroy variable the section regenerate id is a php function that will actually update the current section id with a newly generated one the section regenerate id was added to php to prevent the issue of section hijacking which actually refers to stealing the section cookies mostly when you are using a public computer like maybe you're in starbucks or you are sharing a local network it is very easy for um, hackers to uh, visit your section in that way they'll be able to uh, masquerade as the user and uh, perform uh, all kinds of action so next we're just calling our redirect function and we are redirecting back to the index page okay that's all for the three functions that we have here we have the sign out function is cookie valid and uh, the function to create the cookie next we are going to go to our uh, pass login.php and uh, actually implement this functionality here so first we're going to check if the cookie is set so we're going to check is set post of remember so we use the ternary operator here and we create a variable called remember remember should be equal to the post of the value that we receive so this is going to be equal to post of remember so if it is not set we're just going to set the variable remember to empty string so we don't get an error okay with this we'll be able to determine if the user has actually clicked on the button to uh, remember me which is this so once the user has clicked on this button we are going to be able to get the uh, information okay next we come to the section here we are checking if the password is correct so if the password is correct we're going to create section and then log in the user so this is where we are going to actually check again if that remember me is equal to the value that we set so we're going to check if remember is equal equal to yes then we are going to call the function remember me so we're going to call the remember me function and then we are going to pass it the id of the user which we have uh, collected from here so we've retrieved the id from the database here and we'll pass it to this function okay next we go to our headers.php I'll, I'll be including utility.php and I'll also be including uh, database.php. So here we're going to call database, database, and uh, we're going to call this utility. 
So the reason why I'm including this here is because we're going to be calling a function here, which is in the utilities.php, and uh, this function is going to be is valid cookie. So basically, what we'll be doing here is uh, where we are checking if the section username is set here. So this is basically going to be set if the user has logged in. Okay, so in the event that the user logged in and the actually checks the remember me uh, check boss, then we can also check to see if the cookie is valid. So if there is a valid cookie, there will be no need to show the user again the login form. We just straight away log in the user. So we're going to wrap this in a bracket and I'm going to be checking again. So now I'm going to be checking to see if it's valid cookie. So we're checking if cookie is valid and we're going to pass in the database. So because of the database argument, uh, that's why we've actually added the database.php file here. I think with this, we are now ready to check how the functionality plays out. So we'll go over to the browser and uh, we'll just do some checking to see actually how this plays out. So I'm going to log in as demo and uh, password is going to be and uh, we'll check this boss to remember me. Successfully logged the user in. Now, because of the way that I've programmed the sign up functionality, once the user clicks on logout, it is going to actually destroy the cookies. So uh, I actually take this as an extra precaution when I'm uh, creating my applications. If we are to uh, disable this, we disable this functionality, then if the user logs out, then only the sections were going to be destroyed. So let's check this out and see on the browser. So if we come here and do a logout, you see that even while we have logged that, we can still see the profile and the logout button here, which means actually that the cookie has been set. And remember when, if the cookie has been set, it automatically uh, locks the user in without showing the login form again. To re-illustrate this, we'll go back here and just uncomment all these lines. So I uncomment all these lines and uh, go back to the browser. So when I click on uh, logout, okay, uh, when I click on logout, it's still the same. That means uh, something is missing. Okay, we go back to um, logout.php. All right, so here we're supposed to call that function. We're supposed to call the sign out function. Call the sign out function. I'll disable these functionalities again. Okay, so come here and click on sign out, still the same. So we'll come back here and uh, enable this. Just remove the comments, come over to the browser again and uh, click on sign out. So now we see that the cookie has actually been destroyed along with the section uh, variable. So this actually depends on your programming style. I basically add this to my script. So uh, the intention is if the user actually wants to log out, then the next time they come in, they should log into the system. So you can actually uncomment this if you don't want to destroy the cookies when the uh, user clicks on the sign out uh, button.